What's going on guys? I'm back out here in the garage. I'm about ready to start a little series of videos on rebuilding a 904 727 automatic. Oh, there it is. It was a kind of functioning 904 core. I had it in my car at one point. Uh, the third gear shift was really Really crappy, the duration of the shift was way too long. Second gear was nice, third gear was not. So this has the low gear set in out of, uh, I believe an A99, uh, like the later 904s that came in the 80s cars. Uh, it gears first and second gear down. So I wanna rebuild it uh, in an attempt to go a little faster than a quarter mile because I should be able to leave the line a little quicker. So uh, this is gonna be like a part one it's going to be just disassembling the trans. I'm going to try to keep uh, it to a minimum. Just get it disassembled as quick as possible and maybe do a little quick inspection. And then part two will be uh, starting to put parts together. And I'm going to try to do that. I'm doing this at home. So I'm going to try to do it with the most basic hand tools that you can do this with. So I can show you that you could probably rebuild your own transmission at home if you have, uh, you know, some mechanical skill, obviously. So, all right, let's do it. All right, first thing, get the pan bolts off. I pre-loosened everything with a ratchet, just so this goes a little quicker. Air tools for a cordless uh, little impact driver. It makes all this go a heck of a lot quicker. Just that was, they were half inch bolts. Valve bodies are 7 16 Okay. Neutral safety switch. I like to take that out as well. It's like a one inch socket or you can just use a pair of pliers or something. Adjustable wrench. Just pull the shift selector up out. Get the parking rod disengaged. Sometimes you need to turn the output shaft to get that to come out. Uh, a spare yoke is handy for that. Right. Next thing I like to do is I tighten up the second gear band over here on the side. I tighten it up so when you take the pump out of the front, everything doesn't just fall out. So change the angle on this camera. And next, you want to set the trans up on end and get the speedometer gear and the hold down out of there. Just pops out. And you want to take these extension housing bolts out. Sit them aside. And this little cover here is held on by two Phillips head bolts. There is a snap ring in behind there that you'll have to disengage out of a groove in the rear bearing with this output shaft. Kind of hear it. Now just lifts up off. This pump is a little tricky. You will need a slide hammer, and of course the one that I brought from work wasn't gonna work, so I kind of rigged one here. Piece of all thread, that's three eighths. Uh, piece of all thread, washer, a nut, and the weight from the slide hammer. So any kind of weight will work. Thread that into the pump. There's two of the bolt holes that have their own threads. Just 
we have to kind of alternate back and forth between each bolt hole. Unless you have two slide hammers, which is ideal. pump or in between the pump and that front clutch drum there's a fiber washer I like to keep that on the pump and you got to loosen your second gear band now you can go ahead and take these clutch drums out that adjuster all the way out of the case. Take the band strut out. You can pull this the two cl clutch drums out. second gear band out. Obviously you want to keep all this stuff in order as you take it out. Take pictures with your phone, write down notes, whatever you got to do. Uh, hopefully nobody was in the transmission already. There's a little fiber washer. I think sometimes they might even be brass or something aluminum washer in there i think that's so thickness might be selectable for the end play keep that we've got a snap ring i need snap ring pliers that low reverse band as well. Adjuster all the way out. While we're at it, may as well take the second gear shift lever out. There's a little pipe plug in the front there. Use a quarter inch extension and ratchet, and then you can use a rod that that lever pivots on. Set that aside. your 
planetaries or washers in between here. This is actually the low gear planetary. You know because the diameter of this is, uh, gear is bigger. See, they, they have four tangs on them. So they're meant to go in there only a certain way. Low reverse band. All right, now we're gonna get second gear uh, servo, second gear accumulator, low reverse servo, get them apart. That just pulls out of there. This servo has a snap ring that you have to disengage out of a groove. a little bit of work. together. This third gear one, that rod has to come out through the back. Same thing, got a snap ring in a groove. Work that out carefully with a little pocket screwdriver or something. Probably going to be replacing all this stuff with billet parts from either Cope Racing transmissions or A and A. Uh, it's just to uh, heard these things tend to crack sometimes, especially if you use a uh, reverse manual valve body and you have high line pressure. This output shaft just slides out of there not disassemble not going to disassemble the sprag going to leave that together so that's it for today now i just need to get some parts uh clutches seals the steels uh, i think i'm going to do some performance upgrades on uh, billet accumulator, uh, this low reverse servo kit and everything, probably from either Cope or uh, a and &A. So once I get all the parts, I'll make another part of the video with going back together with some of the stuff. It might be a few steps in it. I don't want the videos to get too long. So I'll catch you next time, guys.